Factory farm cows have not been the only victims of Monsanto products. Large areas of Vietnam were deforested by the U.S. military using Monsanto's Agent Orange. The toxic herbicide reportedly caused over 50,000 birth defects, as well as hundreds of thousands of cancers in Vietnamese civilians and soldiers, and in former American troops serving in Southeast Asia. Unlike the Vietnamese victims, U.S. Vietnam veterans exposed to Agent Orange were able to sue Monsanto for causing their illnesses. Monsanto settled out of court, paying $80 million in damages, but it never admitted guilt. with terrible hay fever and my eyes were burning and I looked out of the river and there were great mounds of white foam going right down the river. And the next morning I got up and I said, my God, what was that happening last night? He said, oh, that's just the river. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, look, every night the paper companies send this stuff down the river. I said, what are you talking about? And he said, don't you understand? That's how we get rid of the effluent from the paper mills. Well, I knew at that time, I'd been in a business, I'd sold um, oil to the paper mills, I knew all the owners, I'd been in politics, I knew the people in the towns. I knew not one constituent of the paper mills wanted to have the river polluted. And yet here the river was being polluted. And it was more or less as if we created a doom machine. In our search for wealth and, and for prosperity, we created something that was going to destroy us. The traders who are involved in the market are not guys whose moral fiber when it comes to environmental conditions are going to be, be rattled at all. They're seeing dollars and they're making money. Brokers don't stay away from copper because it, it violates their religious beliefs or their environmental policies, no. When you think about it, but <laughs> it's fleeting. <laughs> it really is a fleeting moment. It's like, you know, yeah, oh yeah, well, the town being polluted down there in Peru, but uh, hey, this guy needs to buy some copper. I'm getting paid a commission too. Our information that we receive does not include anything about the environmental conditions. Because un until the environmental conditions become a commodity themselves or being traded, then obviously we will not have anything to do with that. It doesn't come into our psyche at all. You know, it, it's so far away, and it's it, you hardly hear anything about it. I mean, keep in mind, I mean, there are things going on right in our backyard, for God's sake. We trade live hogs. I mean, there's so many pigs in the state of Carolina, and it's polluting the rivers, but how often do you find out about that? At Multinational Monitor, we put together a list of the top corporate criminals of the 1990s. We went back and looked at all of the criminal fines that corporations had paid in the decade. Exxon pled guilty in connection to federal criminal charges with the Valdez spill and paid $125 million in criminal fines. General Electric was guilty of defrauding the federal government and paid $9.5 million in criminal fines. Chevron was guilty of environmental violations and paid $6.5 million in Mitsubishi fines. Mitsubishi was guilty of antitrust violations and paid $1.8 million in fines. IBM was guilty of illegal exports and paid $8.5 million dollars was guilty of criminal fines. environmental violations. Pfizer, the drug manufacturer, was guilty of antitrust Odwala violations and was paid guilty $20 million of food and drug regulatory violations. Sears was guilty of financial fraud. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois was guilty of fraud. Guilty of fraud. And environmental and violations. Guilty 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 and violations.